You know, I'm so angry I could swear. You can't swear. I can. And I will. Go on then. I'd like to see what happens if you swear. Fine, I will swear. He used to swear a lot. His favourite cluster of swear words often began with either F or S. And when he was very, very angry, sometimes even a C. No, I, 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 I can't do it. Right. They might still be watching us. But the television is broken. Or maybe our telephones are still working. Yes, that is true. He thought he would apologise in case they were listening. I am sorry, I was just joking. See, I wouldn't even consider swearing. He missed swearing and a great deal of other things. Remember, swearing breeds anger and anger breeds the decomposition of society. He wanted to tell her he loved her. Unaware of the thoughts in his head, Olivia found his gaze uncomfortable while she simultaneously fantasised about using her new mug. She liked it because it had cats on it. Please, can you pass me a list? Yes. On it included specifics such as all forms of dissent, sedition, swear words and all expressions of anger, and the possession and or use of sugar, which now was regarded as a Class A drug. It was thought that this would bring about a happier a more tranquil society. It's a stupid list. You should think before you speak. Little did she know that all he did was think. In fact, in this moment, he thought to himself, I wonder if she'll let me tell her an interesting historical fact. I was wondering if you would let me tell you an interesting historical fact. Of course. Right, so Roman Catholics in Bavaria founded a secret society in 1740 called the Order of the Pug and new members had to wear dog collars and scratch the door to get in. That is interesting. I know. Enough is enough. Please, can I get your phone as well? No. Please. You're going to get me in trouble. Shh. I'm smashed for shit. Whilst he had decided he had enough of statutory surveillance, Olivia had decided she'd had enough of him. You can get the door. Okay. Yeah, not today. He did not let Joe in because he hated Joe. This was because Joe and Olivia had recently become very familiar with each other and he thought they were having intimate sexual relations. To this point, these suspicions were unfounded and in the current political climate, unlikely. 
Please let him in. I invited him round for sugar-free triple chocolate cookies. These are delicious sugar-free triple chocolate cookies. Thank you. They would taste nice with sugar. You shouldn't say that. That reminds me. Pass me your phone. Why? <laughs> if I knew you were going to smash my phone, I wouldn't have given it to you. Oh, no. That's why I didn't tell I was going to smash your phone. Because you wouldn't have given it to me. Things are getting out of hand. I don't feel safe anymore. He's gone crazy. He's gonna get himself incarcerated. I know. You're right. You should let me hug you, Bill? I would. Quickly. As they held their air hug for a few moments, the intimacy, as they both felt cramp at the same time, gave them a mutual sense of stimulation. I don't know what I'd do without you. The thought of the trauma he subjects to you makes my blood boil. But thankfully, I've mastered the art of counting sheep for the purpose of serenity. I can teach you this. I would like that. Olivia and Joe's intense flirtation meant they had momentarily forgotten about Tammy. <laughs> what is going on here? Now, we can talk this through. But don't do anything rash, like raising your voice or expressing yourself using profanities. It's not worth it. Just picture a field of white grass, green sheep, and then hold that thought. And then count to 127. He considered taking Joe's advice. The thought of white grass, green sheep, and the number 127 appealed to him. Then he remembered how much he hated Joe and that he really wanted to hit him in the face. Now, just tell me the truth. Are you two having sexual relations? I beg your what? pardon. I... Are you two fucking? It was in this moment, it seemed like the world had come to a standstill. Tammy realised the suspicions had been accurate. The three of them shared an intense feeling of dread and terror. Tammy's bottom felt uneasy. He hoped if they saw him as weak and afraid, they might take pity on him. Despite how much he enjoyed swearing, he regretted it in this instance. It wasn't worth it, he thought. 